I didn't want to go straight into, you know, having my authority. I want to kind of, you know, set an idea on what that's going to cost um, if you are looking to get started into Hot Shot. guys welcome back to the channel if you're new my name is Tim I am a hotshot driver in today's video we're gonna be talking about how I got started doing hotshot and what it cost me to get started there are a few different ways of doing this whether you're leased on and being an owner operator uh, where you have your own authority I am leased on and I am an owner operator so I'm gonna actually try to do this outside and then inside I'll be going over the numbers and showing you guys my spreadsheet but it's a little windy outside i am by an airport i'm currently on my 34 hour reset but I, I wanted to change it up i didn't want to do the entire video just sitting down in a hotel room so if it doesn't work man if it's too windy i will be taking it in the truck just to talk about the how i got started and then we'll go inside we'll jump right into the video back in november of last year is when i officially started to you know to get the roll get the ball rolling i just got off of a trip with the rv me and my wife we own an rv and we were in the neighborhood getting some stuff out of the rv a guy walked over uh, a friend of a neighbor's who's into trucking came over he wanted to kind of find out you know what was the weight of the trailer and how my truck handles it and so forth and then he you know we just got into talking and he pretty much said you know you can do hot shotting with your truck i was like nah, I, didn't, I wasn't really too familiar with you know hot shotting at the time so he kind of explained what it was and then from there i kind of just did my research man i started to watch youtube videos and kind of look into it and saw the amount of income that you can possibly make with it so currently i am a leased on owner operator i'm going to be going over the numbers of what it takes to go that route so it may be different for everyone. I'm not saying this is the way to do it. This is the right way or the wrong way. It's just the way it worked out for me. I'm actually stop this clip and see if the wind is too much. All right, guys, so we're in the truck. It's it's too windy. It's too cold out. It's about uh, 38 degrees. I'm currently in Wisconsin. This video is actually going to be a little bit more current. current. I decided to kind of like change it up a bit because you know all my vlogs recently have been you know what i've been doing on the road and you know loads and so forth where i pretty much left off was like i said i was back home with the rv and we were taking some stuff out and a guy i met started talking to me about hot shotting and from that point on i you know did my i was researching and looking into it it seemed pretty uh lucrative to me at the time from that point on man i just i just pretty much went hard on, on researching and and really seeing how it actually works the first thing i did was uh i started looking into getting my cdl at first and i went ahead and um went to a school and you know started the process to get started and and, and you know begin training with covid and everything it was a little bit it was a little bit difficult because getting appointments for my permit it was very spaced out as far as availability at the DMV. I paid for my permit, but I did not even finish going through with it. So that I'm still in the process of doing. I still plan to do sometime down the line. But what I pretty much did was I was like, Tim, how can you get on the road as soon as possible? Not to, you know, go off topic here, but I own a few businesses myself with uh, you know, a business partner and my wife. We have a few things that we do on the side, but I also um was working with my truck. There was times where I would go down to Florida and do some work locally uh, with just the truck and I worked with a company that owned trailers and they would move certain things locally around whether it was compost agriculture uh, certain plants and, and things like that it was off of a farm and so forth and then prior to that I also did some I would say hot shotting with um, very small things like closed in you know trailers and so forth so the idea of doing it on a different level on a bigger level was appealing to me 
and the income of course was great i've always loved to drive being that we have the rv we've done traveling in the past and to me man just seeing new places and the scenery uh, you know the united states there's so much to see and so much that i haven't seen so doing hot shotting was going to also provide an opportunity for me to drive and explore more of the united states so at that point it was becoming a win-win situation of course the sacrifice of not being home you know all the time with my wife that was you know a thought that you know could we can we handle it and so forth so we said you know we're gonna do it and it will of course be the sacrifice but it's gonna be for a, you know a certain period of time because we have certain goals and certain certain things we want to do that are set in place so i did all my research um i started you know getting certain things done got my medical certificate started the process with my cdl and then from there i started to prepare the truck got the hitch installed, started getting some supplies here and there. And then I started, when I got back from the trip from Florida, I started reaching out to different companies that I could lease onto. The reason I got leased onto a company because I didn't wanna go straight into you know having my authority. First of all, it takes capital to do that, even though it took capital to do it the way I'm doing now. But it's also like testing the waters to see if this is something that I actually do want to do or continue to do for months at a, you know, for a certain period of time. So far, that's the route I'm going and I'm, I'm really enjoying it but that's the reason that's a part of the reason why i decided to lease on man it's it's pretty convenient not having to deal with any overhead and so forth but going back to how i got started i started reaching out to different companies um i put in a i, I made a call to a certain company and i just called all the phone numbers on their website all the contacts until i got a call back another company that i reached out to um i applied on indeed um, my wife actually found this company and i applied as well so i applied to a few different companies and they both reached back out to me just pretty much walked me through the application process i did my application both came back being approved the other company that i was looking into they had to get approved from the insurance in order to lease you on so that was the first thing that came back and i was approved so then it came to the point where I had to decide which company I wanted to go with. One of the companies wanted me to pay for insurance weekly. The other one didn't. The percentages that you know they were gonna keep were a bit different because of one wanted the insurance and one the insurance was fully covered. I'll probably get into that in another video when I talk about you know what my percentages are, how it works with being leased on with a company or with the company that I'm leased on with. But that is pretty much how it went, man. I contacted the company that I'm with right now and I kind of told them what my options were. And the guy was straightforward and said, look, our drivers are making this on average. There is no insurance that you have to pay. And um, I went with them you know because uh, i just felt more comfortable and you know there was more of a understanding and it was almost like a personal uh level where he was straightforward with me and i and i really appreciated that that's pretty much how i got started man once i found out about hot shot trucking i did my research i started you know youtube university i started watching a bunch of videos things i needed ways to do things so here i am now doing it man and so far i am about a month and a half in and I'm, I'm 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 enjoying it i'm having fun i'm learning as i you know grow i'm meeting people on the road it was a little bit pricey for me to get started doing it this way i haven't seen too many videos of what it costs other people to you know get started as a leased on owner operator we're gonna talk about what it cost me i'm actually gonna show you guys i'm gonna you know jump on the computer and show you guys what it costs me to get started as a hot shot driver on the road and um doing it non-cdl let's jump right into that man let's dig down into the numbers and i'm going to show you guys what it cost me kind of a breakdown of what um kind of are some of the things you have to look out for that you're going to be you know having to have you know a capital for whether it's your trailer whether it's uh, a truck if you don't have a truck whether it's um you know inspections and and just things like that i want to kind of you know shed an idea on what that's going to cost um if you are looking to get started into hot shot all right guys so we're inside the hotel room man i'm going to just pretty much share my screen and kind of just go down the list and go in order of what i spent leading up to the moment when i got started let's jump right into it so i'm gonna be looking probably over to the left but most of the time i'm going to be sharing my screen this is actually my first time actually doing this so 
you learn something new every day man so startup costs owner operator let's take a look the first thing i did was i got my medical certificate done i went in that took about maybe 15 20 minutes at the most to go ahead and um you know do a pretty much physical they want to make sure that you are uh, you know, good and, you know, in good physical state to be out on the road driving, whether, you know, they check your eyes, things like that. That was about $62 for me. I'm not sure if that differentiates by state. I'm not sure, but this is when I began, you know, the CDL process. So the school that I was thinking about going to had a package, um, you know, for the CDL, it would have cost me, uh, I believe around 2500 to get a class A and that's about 80 hours. But as y'all know already, I obviously didn't go through with it. Um, I did pay uh, the 298 though for the permit package. So that's why I have it on there. The next thing I did was I went and got my hitch installed in the bed of my truck. Uh, that ran me about $1,000 uh, and $1,015. You guys can do your research and kind of, you know, see what you guys want to do as far as if you don't already have a, you know, a setup um, to get started. But I got a BW hitch. It's just a ball. It's a turnover ball hitch. That was the price. Um, I was happy with it. They also included the seven pin plug that goes in the bed of your truck for that price. The next thing you guys are going to want to get is your driving record. Records. Um, so I'm originally from Florida. So my original driving record is from Florida. We spent a little bit of time in Oregon, about six months. So I did change my license over to Oregon. If y'all know, taxes are super low in Oregon. So that was pretty beneficial for us at the time. Currently, we're in Texas. So I did also get my driving license and my driver's license in Texas. So I did have to get that record in order to get started. So I, I got all my driving records. The cheapest one, like, like y'all can see here, it's it's two bucks. That was Oregon, 22 for Texas and 20 bucks for Florida. Once I got to the point where I was in process with getting leased on and I got approved, I ordered my securement items, which ran me $1,209.76 from a particular site. This was the majority of securement items that I actually needed to get started. I decided to build a bed. Everyone has their own way of, you know, whether they have a blow up mattress, whether they, you know, however they decide to sleep in their truck, if that's something they decide to do, whether they decide to stay in hotels for a period of time. But I decided to build a bed. So the wood for the bed and the dunnage uh, I bought them together from Home Depot that's why they're there for one price 107.39 is what I paid pretty much for the wood got a few miscellaneous items from Home Depot uh, I got some screws some brackets things like that I got from there 1487 I got some supplies from Amazon which were things like uh, a hitch lock for the gooseneck trailer my moving blankets some other things I got from there some gloves uh, PPE equipment things um, that I couldn't find elsewhere and I wanted to get them quickly I got them from Amazon so below that I got eight ratchets eight straps and slide rails so after I purchased my trailer I wanted to get the the railings uh, installed so this is what it cost me uh 908 bucks is what it cost me to get the ratchets the straps and the slide rails pretty much installed on the uh, on the trailer uh probably didn't mention here 256.18 for what i got from amazon uh 908 for the ratchets and the slide rails and straps so this is the largest purchase um this is what brings my startup costs pretty fairly high is the trailer i didn't have a gooseneck trailer i didn't really know what a gooseneck trailer was prior to doing this i decided to go to pj trailer after doing research i kind of talked about it a bit in one of my previous videos i think in my uh welcome video but i got a pj trailer out the door with tax title tag and everything it came up to eight thousand five hundred and seventeen dollars and 25 cents which to me is fairly good um there were other trailers that i can get i was thinking about diamond c but it was a little bit Bit more expensive for the length that I was looking for a lot of times when you go into these dealerships and when you you know you call and you mention non CDL they already do not want to get you in a 40 foot or anything with duels they want you to have singles um, because you got to stay under 26,000 pounds so um, I went with a 32 foot PJ uh, trailer with singles it's a straight deck doesn't have mega ramps and so far that's been working out great for me man um, and I'm happy with it. I'm probably gonna end up doing a review on the trailer uh, pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. So after I got the trailer, I got everything set, 
you know, I got every all paperwork done with my uh, with the company that I was leasing on with. It was a waiting time to get the trailer, so it was about two weeks. Uh, for some reason, a 32 foot trailer from PJ was very hot, so it was very limited. As soon as I got it, you know, I told the company that I'll be ready by such and such date. They set up orientation and I went to Tennessee for my orientation from Houston. When I got there, you know, driving test, uh, paperwork that you've had to go over, your ELD uh, set up, things like that. And I paid for an uh, annual inspection at the shop for 90 bucks. So that was another cost. Be aware guys that you always have to do an annual inspection. I included my truck payment in, in the startup cost because this is a payment that I make every month. So um, without the payment, without the truck, I wouldn't be able to do this. So I included it in my startup costs, as well as my personal truck insurance, which is 137.28 a month, and as well as the trailer insurance that I added, which is 563 a month. That is probably going to increase um, a bit because I'm going to add roadside assistance, which I thought I had. Now the truck tag and title transfer, because I was in Oregon prior to being in Texas and my residency was in Oregon, I purchased my truck here back in August of 2020 and I pretty much did a use tax for Oregon, so I paid less taxes for my truck. However, because of COVID, I never got my tags. I'm still waiting. Um, I actually refused the tags and just I'm getting the title so that I can just do a transfer to Texas. So I'm actually still waiting for that. But the cost for doing that would be about $209. So I'm still including that in the uh, startup cost because it's a, it's a fee that I'm going to have to pay anyway total everything comes up to fourteen thousand forty one dollars and ninety seven cents a few things i did put on a credit card and mostly everything was cash uh, i paid the trailer cash the only thing i probably put on a credit card uh is the securement items which have already been paid off with you know the income that i made uh so far doing hot shot that's pretty much what it looks like guys this is what it looks like for me i'm not sure what it looks like for you guys out there that um are doing hot shot this way again i am a owner operator that is leased onto a company and I am non-CDL. This was a startup cost. I'm trying to be as organized as I can with keeping track of all my costs and, and, and documenting everything. Just so you know, man, you wanna know if you're really profiting doing this. So I think being organized and, and saving all your receipts or having an app where you can, you know, take a picture of your receipt, keeping track of your maintenance and, and so forth. I actually have a, a folder here that I pretty much do all my personal uh, documenting, whether it's maintenance, my inspections, my receipts, records, uh, just things like that. So I know, you know, what I'm doing and what I have and so forth. That's going to be it for the video, man. Just wanted to shed some light to you guys. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions. I hope this helps out a bit. I am going to do more videos that, of course, talks about, you know, what my weekly income is, what I'm netting, being leased on uh, as an owner operator, what I did for a month and, and things like that. You know, if there's things that that you guys do want to see certain videos that you guys do want to see me doing just leave a comment you can dm me uh through instagram my instagram is hotshot underscore mac with two c's if you're not already following me go follow me i post pretty much daily so far it's been great i appreciate the feedback that i've been getting from a lot of you guys and the support it's been nothing but love i'm, I'm enjoying myself i'm just out here having fun and um just doing it man and and growing like i said from day one man i'm just gonna i'm, I'm about positivity and i'm just looking to grow and learn and i hope to see or meet some of you guys out there on the road i already made you know relationships with a lot of you guys on instagram man hot shot benny triple a freight movers um a lot of you guys out there man it's been nothing but love and i appreciate it with that being said man be sure to follow me on instagram if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe uh, i hope you liked the video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video peace